I'm super excited. I got a box in the mail today and it's another 3D printer. I'm excited to show this off because I haven't done a video about 3D printing in a while and because I was waiting for my new purchase. I purchased the Monoprice Mini Delta and it's a very new printer and this is going to be my very first unboxing video and I want to show you what this printer um, has to offer compared to the two printers that I already have behind me. So I've already um, opened up the cardboard part on the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and just show you what is inside the box. So we've got this here and right there. That's the Monoprice Mini Delta. So it's out of the box and you can see there's styrofoam protecting the bed and the print nozzle uh, or the print head. And you can see the Delta is very different compared to the two printers I have, the Cetus and the PrinterBot. It's different because it'll use these arms to move the print head to print. And this is the display area. Um, and I've got the power adapter to give it some power. I've got a filament holder, which is nice. I've got a USB connection. And I've got a scan card, which allows this printer to print just from this little card um, if I don't have a computer available. Of course, you need to have your G-code saved on this card in order for it to work. And it also came with a few tools to adjust and maintain this printer. So now I'm going to untape some of these things so that we can get this powered up and see how it works. All right, so I'm, uh, I've been slowly trying to get this 3D printer um, squared away here. Um, what I've noticed is that Monoprice has put that pl uh, protective plastic all up on the top and on the un underside of the bed. And it's been pretty difficult trying to take all the plastic off. So like on the handle, there's no way to get this handle out. Uh, at least I'm not seeing it right now. And you can see that there's some plastic still up on the top um, right in here. All this other stuff is gone. And then on the bottom uh, where the bed is, it's really noticeable where it's really hard to uh, get a lot of that plastic out. So what I had to do was remove the bed, the heated bed, and start removing it piece by piece. So that was a little difficult, but not too bad. Um, I was able to put the bed back in place and um, now I'm ready to get it powered up and see how it prints.
So, print's done, and this is what it printed. It's a poly Pokemon. It's a nice little statue, little charm. And it printed beautifully. It's a great print. Um, I, I printed a couple more, as you can see behind me. Those are all prints that came from that printer except for the blue one. And the only issues I've had so far with this printer is one, it's really loud. It's the loudest printer of all the ones I have. And the second issue is connection. So with the SD card, it prints great, but when you are plugged into a computer and you're using Cura or whatever slicing software you want, it has a problem connecting to the laptop. The laptop doesn't read the printer. I've had a couple of error messages saying it's closed, the port's closed, no connection. And it's a well-known problem with this new printer. And as of right now, uh, Monoprice hasn't released any firmware updates, uh, which should um, fix the bug. I think if Monoprice continues to release all these updates, hopefully the bug will be fixed. But as of right now, uh, it's, it takes a while for me to run that printer. So when I want to print, I'll have to turn off the, the printer by unplugging it, plugging it back in, maybe two or three times, and then running the software, closing it, running it, closing it, running it. And it's, it's a pain, but you know, once I get it, it prints, and then, like I said, it prints beautifully. So that's the one of the biggest concerns I have is just the inconsistency of connections uh, with the printer and the laptop. So hopefully it'll get fixed down the road. Um, it's not making me feel like it's a bad buy. Um, it's one of the cheapest printers I have here, under 200 bucks, and I think it's going to work great in my classroom. I'm going to be able to print more items and projects for my students. And it's just different. Uh, the Delta is definitely different from the PrinterBot and the Cetus. So it's kind of nice to expose my students to different types of printers and how they print. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and share this video with anybody. And see you next time.